This is Across the West here on Grey Cup Game Plan, back with Abby Khan. Abby, a bit lighter subject now. We're talking about the Grey Cup halftime shows throughout the course of history. Fall Out Boy was chosen this year. Any thoughts on Fall Out Boy? Well, I think it's pretty cool that Fall Out Boy is doing it. The, the Bombers come out to the Fall Out Boy theme song, I guess. So yeah. that's kind of cool. But they're not really a Canadian act, or they're not Canadian. Right. So I would have preferred to see Canadian talent out there. I think the years, I played in 2007, we had Lenny Kravitz, huge, huge, huge performer, great halftime show, but he's not Canadian, right? And then we went in 2011, and we had Nickelback, who's, I, I think they're your favorite band in the no, world. No, that's incorrect. incorrect? Let's scratch Sorry. that for the Sorry, record, okay. please. Yeah. And then uh, we had Justin Bieber in 2012. Great, great performers, great halftime shows. The CFL is about showcasing Canadian talent, and the Canadian Football League is a Canadian event. I think we should have a Canadian halftime show. And I agree with you, because yeah. I'm a huge Canadian music yeah. guy, too. Yeah. I would have the Tragically Hit perform every year if they could. Yeah, why not? But it's not up to me. No. But that is the big debate. Should it be a Canadian act, or should it be the biggest act? I think they should, first and foremost, try to get a Canadian act. Okay. You know, maybe they tried to get someone, and then no one was available, so, you know, they went to an American act, and, that, and right. that's fine, too. you got to get someone to perform. Availability halftime. is a thing. Yeah. But uh, I would prefer to see Canadian talent out there. I think we have enough. Uh, we, we bring Shania Twain and uh, Celine Dion out of retirement to get them up there. And Canadians would love it, though, because that's yeah. Canadian. We're Canadian. We're not American. Right. We don't have to pretend to be American. We don't have to copy what they do. We're Canadian. We should be proud of that. Let's go back out to Edmonton now. Tim Dancing is standing by once again with Brian Hall. Guys. Okay, thanks, Mike. I'm Tim Dancy in Edmonton with Brian Hall. Uh, Brian, you broadcast Eskimo games for a long, long time. Of course, Jim oh, Thomas uh, just passed. I just wanted to bring that oh, up. What do you remember gone. about Jim? Jim Long Gone Thomas came to the Eskimos at the time that Neil Armstrong became the coach following the Great Purge of 1963. And he was the only thing they had offensively. They were rebuilding. They went through 21 quarterbacks. They had to build the defense. They got Dave Cutler, the defense started, but Long Gone Thomas was the story. You know, when you talk about entertainment, the CFL, and you look at halftimes as an example, Brian, at Super Bowl halftime, such a gigantic production. Hey, what do you think of the CFL halftime? What's wrong with our halftimes? Our, our, our halftimes are pretty doggone good. I remember Shania Twain. And oh, there's been lots of excellent halftime shows. You know, just because it's American doesn't mean it's the best, you know. We do things pretty well in our country, Jim. That I mean, Tim, that includes I was thinking it long gone. Yeah. Uh, I, but but, but we, we, you know, we play a pretty good brand of football, and it's pretty doggone exciting, and it's very challenging. I mean, let's not be putting ourselves down all the time. People are raising our time. The... Our halftime shows are terrific. There's some thought we should have more marching bands and bigger, oh, yeah, you know, yeah, numbers. I know. And... Yeah, you know, well, but who says that? There's always somebody that's going to say, hey, do you know what we should have? I'll tell you what the Canadian Football League should be doing. You know what? Come on. Come on. Mm -hmm. Back here, thank you very much to Tim and Brian in Edmonton. I think Long Gone Thomas performed in 93, was it? Yeah, I don't know who Long Gone <laughs> That guy is just hilarious. I'm going to call you Frank from now on instead of your real name. <laughs> He's a big proponent, obviously, of the Canadian game. Yeah. We can see that clearly. They mentioned Shania Twain, a big yeah. act as well. But you said to me just while we were watching that, it's all about the promotion. And with the Super Bowl, it's all the hoopla you mentioned. 100%. It's all, it's all about the, 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 the razzle and dazzle around it, right? The nappy pappy stuff. It's all the fireworks. <laughs> it's all the people running on the stage. Look, we got Justin Bieber, one of the biggest acts in the world. Um, and 2012, people complained that the halftime show wasn't great. Well, why isn't it great? He, he's one of the biggest performers in the world. It's all the show around it. And, yes. and I think that goes to doesn't matter about the halftime show. You, you and I can perform at the, two, at the 104... Well, we were called. Yeah, like next yeah. year we can do it. And if we had the production value that the NFL sinks into their games, people would love it. You and I would be awesome. We would be. Right? Awesome. And I think the same thing for the games. The CFL game itself is amazing, but it's all the stuff that goes around it that the NFL does such a better job than I think the CFL does. That's where we're lacking, and I think we really need to improve that to draw the younger viewers in, to grow the fan base. We need to make it more exciting. The game itself is exciting. But people want to see the fireworks. They want to see the cool graphics. They want to see the player bios. They want to see what they're doing in the off season. They want to see what they're doing in the off weeks. That builds excitement. That creates a fan base. I think that's what the CFL is really lacking. We can improve that with the new commissioner. I think we're going to just, the game is awesome. All very good points, and that's why we brought you in. Thank you very much, Avi. Appreciate it. This Thank has you. been Across the West here on Great Cup Game Plan on Shaw TV.
from the last game, it didn't look like they covered a whole lot. You know, we had guys running free. Both our starting corners didn't play last time we played them, so it'll be a different look. Are the guys ready to roll? The general manager of the Okanagan Sun is mingling with his coaches and players and fans before a key playoff game against Kamloops. Jay Christensen is a familiar face at the Apple Bowl. He played four years as a receiver here in the early 80s and was a perennial all-star. He coached in Kelowna for 10 years, seven as head coach, highlighted by a national championship in 2000. Now the GM role is one he relishes. The best part of it is the people that theoretically report to me are all fantastic volunteers doing a great job so really I have limited <laughs> limited things that I have to do I just really get to come out and be super fan and super fan he is on this day as the Sun gear up for the rival Broncos after retiring from playing he didn't necessarily miss the grind of the game but rather the camaraderie of his teammates it's not the you know the running in the off season, getting beat up on game day. It's the guys, and and fortunately, you know, when you step into this program, you got you know 50 players or 60 players, and you know 20 or 25 you know support staff that are immediately you're you know part of, and you know they're there for you. You're there for them. So you can't do that, right? That was a forward pass, and they chopped them. Christensen went on to a stellar 10-year CFL career with the Stampeders, Lions, Eskimos, and Ottawa Rough Riders. The highlight of his career was a Grey Cup in 1993 in Edmonton, but he also has fond memories of his time with the Leos. I was fortunate enough to have Doug Flutie as my quarterback, who was just a phenomenal player, phenomenal person, so spectacular and fun to play with. You know, we had some success there, and it was my local team. You know, I knew a lot of people in Vancouver, um, a lot of people from Kelowna would come down, so, it, you know, I got to be a little bit, you know, of a bigger deal than, you know, playing in Edmonton, but, you know, certainly the, uh, the Grey Cup is something you can never replace. Christensen had a solid pro career, which is a bit surprising, considering football was not his first sport. I mean, I wanted to be a professional baseball player. My dad was a semi-pro baseball player, so that was kind of the route I was going. And then uh, at about 16, baseball ended, and Okanagan Sun had just kind of started up a few years after that. And uh, so that was more the natural evolution of just, you know, I, I like playing sports, and they kept letting me play, so, so I kind of kept playing. Christensen then turned to coaching the Okanagan Sun. He says he enjoyed that more than playing. You know, when you coach, you now can touch everything and have effect on everything. So I really enjoyed the uh, the challenge of coaching. That's one of the best long balls I've ever seen. And his coaching dream isn't quite over just yet. I mean, it pulls me. I, again, I enjoy working with the players. I don't think I'd want to come back as a head coach because, you know, at the head coach, there's too much business, off-field stuff that, that comes with it. Just to come out on, you know, at practice and game days and coach, you know, maybe a position, I think is in the future. On this day, a lopsided score in favor of the home team is allowing him to relax a little more on the sidelines. This typifies our married life. Score a touchdown, she's talking. In 2009, I got to choreograph the pregame show for the Grey Cup in Calgary. It was amazing putting 200 CFL cheerleaders together on that field. When I got home, I was exhausted, but I wanted to watch it on TV. So I checked my PVR, and my choreography was broadcast on national television, filmed by a helicopter. It was one of the highest points in my dance career.